we start from the bottom up. Just hear the sound before it goes into the body. This is the sound of your root chakra. The light is now flowing into your throat chakra. And you set your intention to fully open and cleanse your throat chakra. Think about the heart of child uh, at this bowl. Mm. It's a beautiful, clean bowl. And uh, when, child, when the child is born, it's a blank slate, basically. Mm -hmm. And up to the age of four, it's purely emotion. Okay, so please, come back. Anything you fancy. Sit and, and just just feel it. It's pure quartz. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. You can just put it next to you. Thank you. And uh, if you are feeling cold at some point, I have a big towels and I can put over you because sometimes people feel hot, sometimes cold, you know, uh, tingling. So whatever is necessary, just ask, you know, don't, don't be shy if you are freezing. Okay, thank you. We ask divine beings of pure light and highest vibration to come and help in this healing session. Thank you. Just feel the energy, just connect to the energy. We are going to start with a quick sound healing session just to make you more relaxed and just to shake heavy energies from the chakras. We start from the bottom up. Just hear the sound before it goes into the body. This is the sound of your root chakra. Just 
feel the effect of the sun in your body. Just make a mental note. How does it feel? This is the sound of sacred. Sound of the heart. chakra
third eye. And now you bring your attention into your heart center in the middle of your chest. And send your energy down your body. At the bottom of your feet, you are growing roots like a tree. And with your roots, you are going into the earth connecting with the earth energy and you feel the energy of the trees and plants and you are going deeper and you are feeling the energy of metals and crystals and even deeper into the molten core of the planet And you feel these powerful energies swirling in the core. Molten metals feel the heat, the power. And now you go back, back to your body, bringing this energy of the earth with you. And you go higher and higher through the layers of the earth. And when you reach your feet, you feel earth energy is flowing freely into your body and rising up, feeling your root chakra. grounding you, connecting you with Divine Feminine. Just feel. They are now rising into your sacrum. And solar plexus. your heart and then they are flowing into every cell of your body flowing into your skin muscles bones all of your internal organs and glance blood system nervous system flowing into your head feeling your mouth nose eyes ears they are enhancing all of your senses finally flowing into your brain. You feel 
feel fully grounded, fully connected with the earth and you feel the earth energies healing and nurturing your body. Now you focus your attention into your heart center and then send your energy up through your crown into the universe and as you are traveling through the darkness of the universe in the distance you see this huge shimmering light the source of all creation and divine love and without fear or hesitation, you dive into the light and you go deeper and deeper. And the light becomes brighter and brighter. And then you feel this powerful presence. This is divine manifesting itself for you. And you ask for help, you ask for guidance, you state your purpose for this healing today.
And now you return. You return to your body, bringing divine light with you. And you feel the light flowing through you all the way down into the earth. You find yourself suspended in a pillar of light, connecting heaven and earth. And divine light is healing you on every level. The light is opening and cleansing your crown chakra. It's opening like a beautiful lotus flower. This is your gateway to divine, to divine love, divine knowledge. And it's always there for you. In the time of need, you just have to ask for help, ask for guidance, and it will be given to you. And now Divine Light is opening and cleansing your third eye, the seat of your intuition. Light is now flowing into your throat chakra. And you set your intention to fully open and cleanse your throat chakra so you can express freely who you are, what you want, what you need. Just feel the sensations around your throat here. Think about all the contracts you made in your life with people in institutions, contracts you made with your friends and lovers, with working colleagues, with family. Some of these contracts are obsolete. Some of them you made under pressure. Some of them are not working in your best interest. Now you can Tear them up, make them null and void. And every time when you tear up the contract, you just breathe out the energy. Breathe out all that which is not serving you anymore. It's okay, you can go into it. Just feel it, feel it and release it, let go. It 
It's all in the past. You don't need to carry this anymore. Divine light is flowing now into your heart chunk. And you fully open your heart. You let the light into your heart. You focus your attention and your breath into your heart chunk. Every time when you breathe in, you are breathing deep and deep into your heart. Whatever it is that you are holding in your heart, you can face it now. It's safe to feel it. it deep and deep it's okay it's safe to go there Now you go all the way down into the very core of your heart and there you see a little door. This is the door to the temple of your heart and only you have the key and access to it. You take out your little golden key, you unlock the door and you step inside your temple. And you look around, you see this beautiful large space filled with divine light. The floors are covered with marble mosaic. And there is a marble altar in the middle. The altar is covered with silk, decorated with flowers and crystals couple of candles burning on it. And in the middle of the altar you see this beautiful crystal mirror. And when you look around on the walls of the temple you see many pictures. And they are all pictures of you from the moment you were born to the present. You see your life stories on these pictures. And you are curious, you come close to this gallery and you see a picture of a little girl. She's three years old. Little Melissa is three years old. And you look into her eyes. You look into her heart. What do you see? What do you feel? Talk to her. Hold her. Hold her in your arms. Tell her how much you love her. How much you miss her. Tell her that you are the angel from the future. 
coming to take away the pain. And you can do that. You have the power. You are the healer. Just breathe it out. Just breathe it out. That's beautiful. Take her back. Claim her back. She's yours. Feel this boundless energy this innocence of a little girl. It's yours. You can be a child sometimes and just play. Just forget about everything. Just play. And now you walk to the next picture. On this picture, little girl is five years old. And you see her with her father. She's looking at her father. But now she can speak freely. She can say to him what she thinks, what she feels about her relationship. Let her speak. In your mind, you are looking at your father, speaking to him. Maybe for the first time in your life. It's okay. It's okay. Find forgiveness in your heart, for your father, for yourself. Forgiveness is the key. Healing starts when we forgive. And now you feel your right shoulder and you feel that heavy burden on your shoulder is melting away. Just feel the energy flowing. Taking away this heaviness on your shoulder. This burden is not yours. Just let it go. And you walk to the next picture. You are six years old. And you are in your school uniform. It's your first day at school. 
you look into her eyes, into her heart. What do you see? What do you feel? Is she happy there? In the school? Talk to her. And remember whatever happened in the school, whatever pain happened, you can take it away now. You can release that pain. light and light. Your heart is light and light. On the next picture, Melissa is eight years old. And you see her with her mother. She's looking at her mother and now she can speak freely. Tell her how much you love. Feel this connection to your mother, heart to heart. Feel this love flowing between you.
and now move and look in your gallery for the picture of young Melissa with her first love. She's looking at that person. She's in bliss. Tune into her, into this wonderful feeling, being in love. Bring this feeling into your heart, into your whole body. Just be in love fully. It's time to say goodbye to them. Goodbye, my love. I wish you happiness. I wish you good life. Thank you for your love, for your passion. And then you cut the ties with them, set them free. And free yourself. Now you walk to the altar and you are standing in front of the altar and looking into the mirror and you see your image, you see real you. And you look into her eyes and you smile and you say, I love you. I love you exactly as you do. You look down and next to the mirror you see empty piece of paper and a pen. And you think about one thing which is very important in your life at this moment. One thing you want to achieve or to get. You really feel it in your heart, feel this desire. And then write it down. Write it down in this paper, on this paper. And now you have it. How does it feel?
Just keep this feeling in your heart. It's yours. Now is the time to leave the temple of your heart. You walk to the door and you look around one more time and you remember this place. And you know that you can always come back here, hear your past and create the future you want. This is your place of power place of miracles. You step out and you close the door and you are back into your body and you feel the light flowing into your soul place. Just focus your attention. Now, gently breathe into your solar plexus. And just feel. Feel the light moving in your solar plexus. Opening and closing. And now you move into your sacral chakra, just below your belly button. Start breathing. Feeling your That's it. Feel it. Feel it and imagine this pain, this heaviness in your belly is like a black smoke. Just breathe in the light into your belly. Breathe out the black smoke. It's okay. You have the power to release this. Just focus your attention and breathe it out.
that's it. Keep going. You don't need to carry this. It's too heavy for you. That's it, let the body move, let the body move, helps you to release. And now the energy, the light is flowing into your root chakra, opening and cleansing. Just focus your attention there, just feel. Just breathe into it, releasing all the heaviness. The energy flowing from the crown all the way down to your root, flowing freely through the central channel, connecting all of your chakras. Going now from your right shoulder into your hand and from your left shoulder into your left hand. The remaining tension in your body is now draining from the top of your head, down your face, your neck, your chest, all the way down to your feet, and it's flowing into the earth. This sound is balancing your left and right, your feminine and your masculine energies.
In your heart I'm drawing the sign of infinity. Connecting your heart with Divine Source. Crossing your heart, connecting with Earth. Back into your heart. Infinite light. Infinite love. Infinite possibilities. We now give our thanks and gratitude the Divine Source and Mother Earth and all Divine Beings helping in this healing. Thank you. You are now enclosed in a bubble of divine light and grounded into the earth. And you take these energies wherever you go. Thank you. I really uh, interested how do you feel mm. about this uh, energy how you feel about going in into the childhood and you know dealing with all the pains yeah i'm still a bit out of it but yeah um it's something i'd never like addressed before mm -hmm. so it was weird how things were coming up that i didn't know were there like I never realized a lot of strange memories and things that, like, I'd always, they were there, but I'd never properly seen them. Yeah. Like that, yeah. Well, you know, sometimes things are very painful uh, for a child. And uh, think about the heart of a child uh, at this ball. Mm. It's a beautiful, clean ball. And uh, when, child, when the child is born, it's a blank slate, basically. Mm -hmm. And up to the age of four, it's purely emotional being. Okay. You know, I want this, I don't want that, I like, I don't like it. Everything is <laughs> less black and white. Yeah. And it's all about what, what they want. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Obviously, there have to be some restrictions, you know, uh, otherwise, you know, <laughs> you know, the, the child will uh, grow up into a psychopath, you know, they think that <laughs> they can do whatever they want. Mm. Now, obviously, when they uh, experience these uh, restrictions and uh, limitations, they feel pain. Mm. You may see uh, a little girl with the mother uh, in the supermarket and she's screaming. Yeah. She wants this Barbie. Mm. And, uh, uh, you know, my said, uh, Jenny, you already had five of them. I want this one with red hair. <laughs> and uh, usually mother drags her away and she's screaming, Mommy, I hate you. And she really did it. Oh. Isn't it? She really feels this mm. uh, hurt. And from the perspective of an uh, adult, it looks silly. Yeah. But actually it's not. It's a, it's a pain in, 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 in her heart. And it goes into the heart. Something else and something else. So the pain is just piling up. Yeah. Now, if there is too much pain, some people have terrible experiences in their childhood. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and what the people do, they, they just close it off. They create a shield around the heart. Mm -hmm. 
So basically what they are doing, I'm now protected. I don't feel any pain. Mm -hmm. But also uh, this is stopping people from connecting emotionally with uh, others. Yeah. And then they say, oh, this person is cold, they are heartless, this and that. No one is like that. It's just uh, protection. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, uh, this uh, process of raising a child creates a lot of this pain and creates a lot of conditioning. Uh, and uh, most of the uh, these methods are basically uh, down to carrot and stick. In some cases, more stick than carrot. You know, depends on the parents, mm. how they are raised, and how they think uh, a child should be raised. Mm. And uh, uh, obviously, it depends on grandparents and generations before. Mm. Uh, psychologists said that we are all victims of victims. We are passing the, these, uh, you know, uh, this conditioning down the generations. But uh, we are not thinking that what was appropriate 100 or 200 years ago is not appropriate now. So people are using the same methods and, and basically uh, raising child children in a certain way which creates the pain mm. and this conditioning uh, creates uh, programming it's uh, it's unconscious these these little programs they are unconscious and a lot of people are not aware of them and they uh, react in certain way uh, and then they just make decision based on, on this programming and then uh, they regret it because why did I do that? Mm. What happened? How can I be so stupid? They were actually uh, acting according to these programs. Now, this programming is, is more or less finished uh, around the age of seven. Uh, around the age of seven, it's hardwired, you know about uh, neuroplasticity. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, the neural pathways are created in the brain and all the uh, neural pathways which are deemed unnecessary, uh, they are deleted and it's actually a physical process called pruning. Mm -hmm. And then around that time something called personality is created and personality English word comes from the Latin language word persona uh, one of the meaning of the word was the mask used in Roman theatre for the actors because they had this archetype of ma masks mm -hmm. the other meaning was the role the actor is playing like a character. Yeah. Mm. So, people are wearing these masks and uh, they are meeting other masks and uh, there is a lot of misunderstanding there. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, because we are unable to see the real person. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's especially uh, difficult in the relationship because people are trying to show in best life, light, you know, and, and when they are dating and then they get married or something and the truth starts coming up and then they are disappointed and break up and all of that. Yeah. So, uh, what we are trying to do is to, to remove all the pain, to remove all the, this condition, you know, and uh, I'm not doing it, yeah. I'm just helping my client to see that. And you see the energy uh, brought in the session, these memories you had and you forgot about it, mm. or maybe you pushed it down into the basement.
But that's normal, that's what we do, you know. And I don't think it's anything terrible, but uh, regardless, it's, it's too painful for a child. Now, if people have uh, really terrible experiences, terrible uh, pain and blockages, traumas, uh, they create the energy block. And in my simple explanation, what the block is, uh, say for instance, the person is driving down the motorway. Everything is fine, they are concentrated. And then someone is cutting across the lane, hit them, and the car is tumbling, and the, the, the per person is thinking, oh my God, I'm gonna die. You have the story, the car accident. Then you have fear of death, you have physical pain from injuries, then maybe hatred and resentment towards the driver who caused the accident. This latches together and creates the block. And it sits in the heart. And imagine this person, the injured person, waking up in the middle of the night with physical pain. Mm -hmm. And the whole movie starts unfolding. They feel it in the body, they, the, the pain, they feel this anger, all of that comes up. Yeah. And uh, it's basically uh, draining the, the, the energy from that person. Uh, it's like having a parasite inside. Mm, yeah. And it's repeating and repeating all the time. Now, when, when we ask a person to, to uh, go into this incident, into the blockage, they feel heavy and they, they feel the anger. It's necessary to really feel anger, to face the anger and then to release it. Mm. And then, as we are working on this block, Fear of death, anger, resentment, they all start this, this connecting from, from the story mm -hmm. and going into nothingness. And then uh, they are left with the memory, uh, without emotional charge. And that in, in itself is experience, is data. And every experience is useful because it leads us to a wisdom, leads to uh, us making better decisions in the future. But if we if we keep emotions and if we replay that, and as we go through the life, there is some more traumatic experiences all the time. You know, a lot of tension, stress different aspects of life and, and then this burden becomes too much, yeah. is draining too much energy in the body-mind system. Mm -hmm. And you know, when people are older, when they are 60, they are like this, you know, and because they are carrying all that stuff. So what we are trying to do is to help people release the burden and uh, release more energy so they can focus on now and what they need to do and, mm. and you know, to live life yeah. rather than going back. Living in the past. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was a really, really like healing experience, I think. And. Uh, and you know, it, uh, I started it Reiki and I found this uh, much more efficient mm -hmm. because the client is actually actively uh, participating in the process. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I felt a lot more like aware than usual because sometimes in the past I've gone into more of like a, a deep kind of 
half asleep trance kind of thing, yeah. but this time I was fully present the whole time. It actually amazed me that I didn't switch off at all. I was kind of there the whole time. And yeah. Yeah, that was That's also very healing because yeah. uh, you know you are going to, every time it's like deep sleep and, and you, you get up, you are refreshed and everything. Mm. But this is going really deep. This is going into the basement. Mm. Yeah. And we all have zombies in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> you know? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but they are not. We mm. we see them as zombies, but they are actually uh, our pains, our traumas, they they they, they are coming. Like this, but they are actually saying, "Please deal with me, yeah. release me," and we can do that. You know, it's not written in stone. You know, yeah. we are we are so flexible and so powerful. Uh, it's just uh, we don't know that we can do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, animals uh, in the in the wild they. They release uh, stress all the time because living in the forest, you know, little rabbit is, you know, foxes and, and, and wolves, they are always chasing, trying to eat them and, and you know, it's very stressful. <laughs> they actually research the uh, animals in savannah and uh, antelope is grazing, just doing her own business and then you see a lion sneaking, trying to eat her. She spots him and then she runs like a crazy. You know the, the same mechanism, uh, adrenaline rush, mm. just run like mm. crazy. And she runs and she managed to escape. And when she's safe, she stops and she just shakes her body for a couple of minutes. Mm. She releases the stress. It's natural to them. And you know, they didn't learn this on course or... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just something natural they do. But uh, because of the life in, in, you know, urban environment and civilization, we forgot all of these uh, skills, you know, and, and uh, uh, we, when we are stressed, we just, uh, you know, drink or whatever. Yeah. We, <laughs> just carry it with us and yeah. stuff as well. Yeah. yeah. Wow, I didn't know that. But uh, it was something really heavy on, on the right shoulder. Really? Have you noticed? Yeah, I think it was my throat I felt most, and then probably second most was the shoulder, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. The energy will flow for a couple of days, you know, and uh, you might become emotional, some memories may, mm -hmm. might uh, okay. come up, but, you know, that's normal, that's part of the process, and you just breathe out if it's something unpleasant. Mm -hmm. don't, don't let it stay in. Okay. Yeah. And uh, if you want, you know, you can sit with your crystal, don't forget your crystal. Uh, sit with your crystal, you know, ground yourself, bring the earth energy into your body, connect with the, the light, bring the light. And you are sitting in this light, in, like an actor on the stage in the spotlight. And just feel the energy flowing through you. And just feel your heart, your belly, whatever you feel uncomfortable, and just focus there. See uh, if some memories are coming, you know, uh, and just release the energy. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. You can do a lot on your own, you know. Mm. I'm glad, yeah, I'm, I'm really, I feel like I've learned a lot as well from. Mm the process of going, like, starting with the feet and yeah. going back and, yeah, I know, like, how positive now it feels at the end of the process, because I've ended up feeling really happy, which is a good thing, so I think I'll, I'll want to do it by myself as well, and yeah. like, reach yeah. this feeling of, like, happiness. Yeah, I mean, uh, 
try with a couple of minutes, uh, and uh, if you if you are restless, uh, distracted, or something, just stop and do it another time. Yeah. You know, and uh, I don't know what's the best time for you. Maybe if you are morning person, if you have time and inclination to do it in the morning, do it in the morning, or maybe before you go to sleep. Yeah, I think I will try it. I think often if I want to find like a moment of peace, I try to do it outside, like on the balcony. Somehow mm -hmm. like hearing nature really helps, which is why That's I actually really helped hearing the rain today. <laughs> it was That's really nice. Great. Good. Yeah, thank you so much. Good. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is my car. Oh, thank you.